Hello and welcome to the diffraction gratings lab. In this lab you're going to measure two things. Firstly you're going to use a sodium light with known wavelength to measure the spacing between the lines on the diffraction grating and then you're going to use this diffraction grating to measure the wavelengths of the lines produced in the mercury spectrum. So what you'll be doing is you're going to have a diffraction grating which is just a piece of glass with a series of scratches in it. The light can pass through the glass but not through the scratches. You're going to have a light source which will go through this diffraction grating and as it goes through the diffraction grating the light will be diffracted. You're then going to move a telescope around the outside to look for the lines and you'll see a series of different coloured lines. So you might see one bright line up here and we'll call this angle theta L for theta left and you'll see another bright line down here. We'll call it theta R for theta right. Now in order to analyse what's going on you're going to need to use the diffraction grating equation which tells you that d sine theta is equal to n lambda. In this equation, D is the spacing between the grating, which is what you're trying to find in the first part. Theta is the angle between the central maximum and the line that you're observing. N is the order of the lines. So what you'll find is that for the sodium spectrum, you'll see a very bright central line, which is the zeroth order one and then you'll see a first order one and then if you keep on going around in a circle you'll see the second order one. So n is the order and lambda is the wavelength. So with the wavelengths for light they're in the hundreds of nanometers. So in order to get d you're going to need to measure theta and you will know lambda. In order to measure theta we can measure the angle between these two first order maximums. So this angle is actually 2 theta and so we've got 2 theta is equal to theta r minus theta l assuming that 0 degrees is not in the middle here. If 0 degrees is in the middle you're going to have to add that angle and that angle to end up with 2 theta. So you can use this equation to get theta and once you know theta and you know lambda and you know n you can work out what d is, the spacing on the grating. You'll then use this D in the second part in order to measure the wavelengths of the lines in the mercury spectrum. I'll show you the equipment now. For this experiment, you'll have a sodium and a mercury spectrolyte. It's a good idea to turn these on a couple of minutes before you need them as the intensity tends to gradually increase over the first couple of minutes. You're going to be using a spectrometer, similar to this one, to measure the diffraction pattern. The spectrometer's got three important components. This part here is called the columnator. Its job is to make the light rays parallel before they go through the diffraction grating. At the end of the columnator, there's a little slit that you can adjust. Now, it's really important that you do this gently, as you don't want to wedge it shut or wedge it open. But ideally, you want to have as little light as possible going through so that you can still see the image, but this will make the image nice and sharp. The more light you let through, the thicker the lines appear, and so the harder it is to get an accurate measurement. In the middle here, you've got the diffraction grating, the most important part of this exercise. And then this part here is called the telescope, and this is for focusing on the lines and allowing you to see it. There's a little knob on the side or at the end, depending on your specific spectrometer, that you can adjust to get a good sharp image. For the sodium lines, you should get an image like this one, where you can make out the two lines. Once you've got one of the lines in the crosshairs of your spectrometer, you'll measure the angle with the vernier scale. If you have any difficulty seeing the lines and getting a really sharp image, you can use this black cloth. This will block out extra external light and can make the image a bit sharper. 
it's important that you don't put the light over the top of your lamp as there's a vent in the top here, a little hole which lets the heat out and we don't want to get the lamp too hot or get the cloth too hot. So happy searching, I hope you managed to find lots of mercury spectral lines.